the expenses part or expenses side of the profit and loss account you have the first line item under expenses is your cost of raw material consumed cost of material consumed uh, you find that the uh, in the previous year in 2013 uh, 10284.66 crore of expenses has been uh, expenses been done for the uh, materials then for the 2014 they have 11159.81 crore then uh, you have one more expenses given here purchase of stock and trade change in inventory employee benefit expenses finance cost and depreciation and amortization expenses then you have other expenses so you find that in out of these expense out of these expenses you find that the the material that is consumed is very high right so find the expenses is very high compared to the other ex expenses other uh, expenses right so let us get into a little bit detail of into the uh, note 29 regarding the cost of material consumed so what are the material they are consuming it right so directly we get into the uh, notes of account number so you have the 28 right so 29 so 29 is the notes right so this is your raw material consumed so here it, it gives you the 8288.21 in previous year and 8912.81 and they have also given the packing uh, materials consumed uh, is 2247.63 in 2014 and 1996.45 in previous year right so again they have given the breakup of the what are the raw material they are normally we are consuming so let us get into the uh, refer uh, note 149 so we go to uh, 149 to one what right now this is the uh, note 141 so note 41 right so note 41 raw materials consumed so what are the raw materials they are consuming so you find that oils fats and rosins okay which cost them something around 1711.01 crore and chemicals and perfumes which cost them around uh, four thousand eight hundred eighty eight point one nine crore and for tea they are uh, spending the raw material cost of one thousand three hundred thirty six point five one crore then you have the others coffee flavors other chemicals nine seventy six point four seven crore so uh total comes around four eight one nine eight nine one point eight nine one two point one eight crore is the uh, raw material expenses that they are incurring right so this is very important because uh, from the costing point of view we have to also include in that then again they have also mentioned here in the note 42 value of imported and indigenous metal consumed so raw metal which is imported and indigenous right so let us get into the uh, statement once again profit of uh, profit of statement loss so now cash flow statement right so coming to the cost of materials right so next you have the purchases of stock and trade so 30 and change in inventory of finished goods so now cost of material this is the raw material cost that company requires to manufacture the finished goods that we have seen right now and what are the inputs they have taken so these are the breakup that you have to uh, see that is very important right the next line item that is the purchase of stock in trade that uh, you can go and refer uh, these line items will show you the purchase of stock in trade normally uh, it refers to the purchase of the finished goods right purchase of the finished goods that normally the company buys uh, for conducting its business right uh, this can be seen with the help of the change in inventories of finished goods uh, notes item so let us get into the uh, notes item of uh, 31 so let's get into 31 notes uh, note 31 note, note 31 right so this is the note 31 so cost of raw material consumed and packing material consumed that we have seen so now uh, next is your purchase of stock in trade it's a purchase of stock in trade so you have the purchase of goods as i said that the purchase of stock in trade refers to thing but the purchase of finished goods that the company buys for towards conducting its business right now you find the change in inventories over here okay so here change in the inventories of your finished goods right including stock in trade and work in progress wip right so still uh, there is some half-picked product which is kept in the company and it is in still in it has to be uh further processed that is your wip then a stock in trade which is kept for sale the finished goods which is kept for sale right now here you find that uh you have the closing inventory over here for uh 2013 you have the uh finished goods uh closing inventory for which is have one three one zero point seven two crore and uh, you have work in progress closing uh inventory is two four eight point zero zero right and this closing inventory will be the opening inventory for this year right for 2000 
14. So this is the closing inventory and this will be the opening inventory for the current year. This is previous year and this is current year. In similar way, the previous year closing, entry, uh, clo closing inventory uh, for WIP is 248 and this will be the opening inventory for this current year, right? And they have done some uh, transfer and pay of acquisition. Okay, they have done some acquisition of the materials. And in this year, what they have produced is uh, uh, the finished course that they have uh, done is uh, 1389.88. We find that uh, it is given in negative number. What does it mean? Uh, negative number means that company is producing more number of product, right? Uh, then uh, it is to sell okay it is uh, just producing more number of products so that hence it is given in negative value right more number of products compared to the uh, sale to be done so we already seen the uh, economic sluggish part which has been given in the uh, management and discussion analysis report so they are uh, say that the sales was sluggish and economy was sluggish right so those factors may be taken as an uh, interpretation maybe you have to get into more depth for uh, getting into that but we take an uh, economic point of view economic risk factor may be the uh, situation that uh, there may be a negative more number of uh, products that they have produced so which is shown in negative value right then next comes your the employee benefit expenses so next comes your the employee benefit expenses so employee benefit expenses this is quite a little bit uh, more in depth that we have to see we have to see the welfare measures uh, what is the uh, labor laws they follow actually we have to see all that also but from the user's perspective just we have to see what is the requirement for us so expenses that company incurring is regarding the the salaries they pay right and wages for the direct direct uh, labor right salaries for the indirect labor and wages for the direct labor and bonus for the direct labor and indirect labor both right so they are paying they are paying the uh, salaries of uh, one three six four one thousand three hundred sixty four point eight two crore then the contribution to provident fund other funds so these are the uh, benefit plans uh, ninety point zero six that uh, the companies are spending then gratuity for fourteen point two two crore then expense of employee stock option scheme this we have we call it as esop right it is similar to your uh, options based uh, esops it's one of the derivative part also employee stock option scheme right uh, they spend at something known uh, it's an expense right so seven crore then they have given some uh, staff and welfare expenses which is 90.06 crore so <clears throat> So total, uh, which stands to something around 1566.116 crore. But you find the profit is uh, coming around 2,300, right? So 23,781 crore is the profit for them. But how much the company is spending for the welfare of the uh, workmen? They're spending only 90 crore, right? So out of that 2, 3, uh, 23,174 crore, out of that, you find that company is spending only the benefit of, to the employees through only 90 crore so this also be uh, seen what is really happening in the company right so this also has to be put into into consideration for our study purpose now next the line item that we have is the next line item that we have is the finance cost so finance cost or we call it as uh, the borrowing cost or we call it as the finance charges right so normally the comp normally the it's an interest cost or the other cost that the company has to repay right the borrowing uh, from the borrowed funds right so interest expense on book or draft short term and long term borrowings that company is paying is to 14 2.49 crore in previous year it was less this year it seems that they have uh, to they have taken some more additional funds and they are starting bearing more expenses more interest expense right then interest on income tax 11.82 interest uh, expense on security deposit uh, 24.96 right so this uh, i should know what uh, then coming to the uh, depreciation and amortization expenses so this cost see when we talk about the depreciation and uh, amortization expenses you have the tangible assets and intangible assets right so tangible assets we know that it's an uh, tangible assets has a physical form right and it normally provides the economic value for the company this is a typical definition we have seen for the uh, tangible assets so tangible assets could be anything right? it could be a plant or it could be machinery building car 
uh, whatever may be the electric equipment that you have right so normally uh, the machinery that heavy machinery that you have that could, that could also be the example of tangible assets and coming to the amortization intangible assets so normally this does not have any physical form and even though it provides an economic value to the company but you have the uh, maybe the company's brand value okay hul hindustan unilever limited could be having a very high brand value and you have the copyright patents franchise so it it list goes on right so this is this is your uh, amortization on the intangible asset so asset has to be uh, depreciation uh, depreciated has for the useful life right uh, these are the information that we have given now next information that uh, we have to look into the is the other expenses so what are the other expenses that they are the company is incurring so in this uh, case you find the in the line item of the other expenses this is the line item of our other expenses you have the breakup of this is they have the consumption of stores and spares 120.57 uh, power fuel light and water 362.76 crore and you have the processing charge 300.08 then repairs to building uh, 13.31 repairs to plant and equipment 93.72 and you have the miscellaneous expenses so you, you have you find that that is a uh, detailed uh, expenses that they have given to you right so adding all adding all these expenses you find you will be getting the expenses of 7983.14 the next they have given the miscellaneous expenses what is this miscellaneous expenses it is refer the note b below what is this miscellaneous expenses so here you find the miscellaneous expenses includes the uh, net foreign exchange loss that is exchange differences on settlement or restatement of all monetary items marked to market valuation of outstanding forward contract and account of form commitments 2695 crore so here the mark to market so here they are getting with the uh, netting of the foreign exchange losses so this is some adjustments to be done right so regarding the foreign uh, funds right so we are more concerned with the profit before tax so this is the expense part of the uh, statement